let's go over to Nintendo 2021 because uh, actually a lot of people, let's see, Nate did a podcast on it along with MVG. OJ mm-hmm. did a video on it and Sean did one and Sean's not here. At a, he's apparently at a Halloween party. We'll see how true that is next week. Uh, but <laughs> there's a lot of talk about Nintendo 2021. Sean's wearing a costume. That counts as a Halloween party. <laughs> Nintendo 2021. And it was interesting to hear that because I it has been a little quieter on Nintendo's side. I know we're l- leading up to PS5, Xbox, you know, Series X and S, next gen stuff. So a lot of focus on that. We have Age of Calamity coming up. We have Pikmin 3 uh, in a, what, six days or so. So they at least have some stuff coming out. But the talk has certainly been about next gen consoles. And a lot of us are already starting to look ahead to 2021 for Nintendo. So, Nate. Why don't you lead us off here? What are your expectations for Nintendo in 2021? Uh, people can listen to my podcast and find out. Yeah, but like, what what what's the non hour long version of it? Uh, the TLDR: good video yeah. games and new hardware. What kind of hardware? Revision hardware. Revision Ooh. hardware. So a new Ring Fit's coming. <laughs> no, that's a software with hardware. New Labo. What the hell's Labo? <laughs> Correct answer. New uh, hardware as in like a, a dock for like a Switch Lite, so they make the Switch Lite to where you can dock it? Yeah, we got Well, we got to get one on a home. We got to get rid of the hybrid concept. No. We no, can't right. have the hybrid. We can't have yeah, the hybrid. That's, that's, what that's weird. a good idea. <laughs> that's actually a good idea. Never mind. They got rid of that concept. It's called the Switch Lite. Mm. No, 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 no. But, like, but they need to just sell the Switch Lite. Like that's a better concept than the regular Switch. Like, right? Or no? light only yeah we gotta get rid of that we gotta get rid of the hybrid concept nate come on how's it been it, selling that it, well it, it does seem like nintendo is getting their ducks in a row for next year and i think you know it's going to be a big year for them next year it seems like the fourth year they're you know it's like a reboot of you know the first year they'll have i mean we suspect they'll have new hardware ready to go with some big games you think they're gonna? You think they're gonna have another year where they're gonna have a Mario and a Zelda game in the same year, like a like a like a new 3D Mario game and a and a you know Breath of the Wild two all at once in the same year? Because that was a big year to start the Switch out with. There's a possibility both teams have been working on their next entries for those franchises, yeah. and would, the timing would align for that to be a po- you know a potential outcome. It's not a guarantee. It depends how those development cycles had been impacted by COVID and other factors. But there is a outside chance that you could feasibly have a year that has a new 3d mario new 3d zelda let's say well let's say the switch revision okay because basically at this point everyone assumes that they're going to do a switch revision because if they don't do it this year they might as well wait for next gen Uh because uh, we're going to go into the we'd be in the fifth year of the switch then right after after this after after this march we'll then have completed four years with the switch right yep That'd be 2021, yeah. So we'll complete it for it. We'll be in the fifth. So if they don't release it then, we'll be like, well, you might as well wait to the sixth year and start talking about a next-gen switch then. So most people assume they're going to do some sort of revision. What kind of what kind of software do they launch alongside of it that's not third-party? It would depend on the timing of when the revision launches. If they tried to do early, let's say March, you're probably not going to have a significant first-party game. You'd be launching it primarily with Monster Hunter Rise, which isn't really all that unfamiliar with Nintendo and Revisions. They launched the new 3DS with Monster Hunter, but they also had Majora's Mask. This time, you're not going to get Breath of the Wild in March. You're probably looking at that towards the second half of the year. So if you want to wait till, say, September, you could mimic what you had with Link's Awakening that launched the Switch Lite and the Redbox or version 2 Switch, and that would be in the place of Breath of the Wild 2 if it could come out that soon. So it's really a matter of the timing of when the revision hits. And if you want to launch it with a Zelda game, it wouldn't be until the second half of the year. If you want to launch it with a major third-party game, it'd probably be something like a Monster Hunter caliber. So that's really up in the air. The reason I think that Breath of the Wild 2 is going to be a second half, possibly into holidays, because I, I think that's a good way to cap the anniversary. And I think the way to cap it is to have the game and then also have some sort of special edition switch to go alongside it. Oh, are you? Mm. Because it's the anniversary, so they could do their collection, like their little Zelda collection with what Wind Waker, maybe their Twilight Princess in there or something. A little and then Zelda two, collection. Yeah, you do a Zelda collection, right? And then you do the special edition system and then you cap everything off with Breath of the Wild 2 in like either mm-hmm. end of October or like first half of November. Mm hmm. Like I, th- I think that's a good way to tackle that part of the holiday, but then you also have something else. They could have a 3D Mario 
semi near there, that like would. in like the yeah, they could have that there. That would be interesting to have a, once again a 3D Mario and then a and then a new Zelda, like oh, within yeah. a, a few months of each other. Well, they've done it from like Odyssey two, Odyssey think, two, yeah. and Breath of the Wild two. They don't. Yeah, I think I think Breath of the Wild two would be the holiday game next year, and yes. so, mm-hmm. it would be a late summer Augusty game. So I will tell you which game I think is going to be fairly close to the revision. And as a guess, but I think OJ was on to something with his video. Oh, go on. OJ, what, what, what game were you talking about your video for 2021? Yeah, I was talking about Mario Kart. Um, I, 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 one? It's a good yeah, I think, I think that's a good one, one to launch near the revision. I'm not going to say at the same time, but like within like a month or so, like a, almost like a summer game kind of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the reason why I think Mario Kart, you know, if, if you go back, a lot of people talk about Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and that's the reason why there's not a Mario Kart 9, but I think that true and maybe not true. Um, I think that Mario Kart 9 is something they've been working on it. That's, that's we already know, because Nintendo has stated in the Awada Ass interviews, uh, they work on the next Mario Kart as soon as the current one's done. It's almost like the next systems, right? So that's mm-hmm. what they do. So they've been working. There's, there's a Mario Kart 9 in Nintendo's laboratory, chilling, but I think that they're waiting for that install base. They're waiting uh, for that next push. Um, and I think they want to break sales records when this next Mario Kart comes out. I think they want it to sell like literally instantly. I mean, we saw what Animal Crossing did with the install base that it had, right? You need install yeah. base in order to sell those numbers. You can't, you can't sell, like it can't only be on the, the new Switch revision, right? Cause that, then that's not, you can't sell what you want to sell. Right. So, um, because some people are saying, oh, what if it's an exclusive for that? No, that's 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 a bad idea. <laughs> that's not no, going to work. No, not they, they want to yeah. sell to all the people who have Mario Kart now, which is a stupid and, amount. <laughs> and switch, no. switch lights as well. They want to get it to switch because yeah. a lot of people play it on Switch Lite. So I was thinking that Mario Kart would be, you know, it'd be 80, they'd be at 80 million around next year at some point. Um, yep. And that would be a crazy um, install base to launch Mario Kart. And you could instantly sell right there pretty much the first first month you'll probably sell 20 million or some something around that big if know? they if they have mario kart and then they had a 3d zelda and then a and then a 3d mario all in the same year they they very well could touch 100 million by the time the six year starts like that is very March, possible I would yeah like january or, or something yeah like so they would they would have another two holidays with those kind of games packed in yeah i could see that so then who? Then the sixth year would be basically they can put out whatever they need to. Then I, I assume Metroid Prime Four is gonna be one of the last games on the Switch, probably leading into the the following gen. But Nate, where do you think? Be- Actually, hold on. This is this is better. Jordan, where do you think Bayonetta Three falls into this? Just take a guess. Because watch <laughs> watch him be right. Watch him watch him be right. Watch. Okay, October ahead, next year. October next year. I'm gonna write that down. All right. Halloween. There you go. That is the, uh, that would be the what? One Next year. year. <laughs> Hold on. Be Halloween the title. Se- seven, seventh year anniversary of Bayonetta 2. <laughs> All right, Jordan. Title. How about the 29th of October, 2021? I'd say that's a pretty solid guess. Is that a good one, you think? I think that's a pretty solid bet, honestly. A Friday, 29th, Bayonetta I mean, October. games like come out on Fridays, so... <laughs> Y'all, y'all are throwing Nate's darts laughing. to the moon. Let's be clear. Y'all are throwing darts to the moon right now. You're being like, <laughs> Jordan, save this podcast. Clip it. I remember it right here, Evan. He might, It'll be in a I segment mean, on the clips, yeah. yeah. Oof. Oof. It's immortalized. I, I feel like jo- or Jordan what we got might wrong. get it. <laughs> what we got wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, we'll see with Bayonetta 3. I, that's the problem. We haven't seen anything about it. It's kind of gone missing since... The Game Awards forever ago. So three years ago, four years. Ago? Uh, yeah, three, I mean, right. Twenty seventeen. So Jesus. we're going on three. Yeah. we're going on three years this year. I mean, we got another Game Awards coming up here soon. So who knows? Maybe Nintendo pops up with something cool. But yeah, Bayonetta three went missing. It could, it could be a release next year. It just falls into like the not spring, but maybe summertime somewhere in there as well. So when it, when it's, it's finally shown, it's going to be glorious. Mm-hmm. I feel like it ha- kind of has to be now, doesn't it? Because it's been yeah. like so long. Like it's almost like it has to be good because it's been like Bayonetta's gotta, gonna die. You got to show up with quality now because it's been so long. I don't know. It's it, it's one of those things where the longer it takes, the more pressure builds on its actual like reveal. Yeah, that's um, true. Like I feel like Metroid is under that same thing. Like if yeah. Metroid Prime Four shows up and it's like it's like Halo Infinite where we saw that when we were like, huh, uh huh. <laughs> like it's I feel well- like. That's going to be a whole thing. I think they should just like drop demos on these things just to, you know, 
Yeah. <laughs> Make people uh, feel more comfortable. And yeah. Longer. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. It's it's going to be an interesting year next year for Nintendo, though. And uh, I think Sony will probably have a fairly good year, too, trying to push the first year of... I mean, I think all three PS5. companies will have pretty strong first years in different ways. Obviously, Microsoft with with you know i think they'll sell a lot of systems but i think game pass is obviously their big focus my concern with microsoft is i don't know the next i don't know when their next first party game's coming out uh, in 2021 psychonauts 2 i guess at some point uh-huh. would be the first game that comes out next year I I think yeah really, they're really February, just March. With, they're just really warm with the backwards compatibility i mean and like yeah, you can just, play yeah i, I know that's just, not as ex, that might not be as exciting but I, I don't know why i'm really ex, i guess i'm really excited for that because there's so many games that i that i have sealed <laughs> they're they're pushing they're pushing their third party partners that they have deals with like borderlands they're advertising the new features in borderlands heavily they're saying all that kind of stuff that's 4k so. six, it's 4k it's basically it's the next to me that's like yo that's a next gen game right there you know i, I can play it at 4k 60 um because I, I i didn't play the game i didn't play borderlands 3 so I, i'm excited to kind of get You're into coming it and i'm in probably gonna play second time. They're, uh, they, I mean, there's new DLC. They made a second season pass, yeah. and the first thing that drops is like right as the new consoles launch is the designer's cut, which adds new skill trees to all the characters. And there's a director's and cut coming out. So that's a free update too. That's a free update for Borderlands Three. Free, um, you know, for the 4K. So for me, like, I think it's just kind of exciting to have this super powerful system that if you don't sit there and play games all day, you miss some games, or you bought some games, or you wait for sales. Uh, you can play those games and they'll be good. They'll look good. They'll run. They'll run good. They'll look good. It's not like the graphics are trash. It's not like you're going back to like you know, like the, like you know, pixelator. It's it's gonna look amazing. And it's like okay, yeah, maybe it's not a true next gen, but it's still an amazing experience that you can get. Like these games are cheap. Like Sekiro, cheap. You know, like all these games that you can brute force backwards compatibility. They're all cheap. So instead of going out there and buying, you know, for some people buying seventy dollar games, you know, or whatever the case is, just go buy a bunch of ones that have free updates and bam you get next gen like there's your launch titles right there you know for a lot of people that missed out you know not everybody plays every single game you know absolutely or just game pass alone or if you game want like, physical f- physical ownership of the well yeah, yeah. I, game pass I, feel, yeah. I but for game the, pass the, has the a good pricing way to- to yeah, try yes. the games out even yes. and be like eh, maybe not this one or then you go yeah i want this one and you just go buy it when it's on sale right OJ? I, I always just use you guys. i just use you guys for that <laughs> oh, that know? works because like, <laughs> like, all you guys do reviews right and now, stuff so, so I, just, I just use you guys for that like That's okay true. john likes it maybe i'll like it we're always <laughs> playing we're always playing random stuff so you yeah know. yeah <laughs> and i give yeah. you i mean you guys get the ad revenue you know what i'm saying so mm-hmm. <laughs> Not, not, me. Not, not a bad gig there. Well, you get the view. You get the view. <laughs> you get the really large Charmander that I told you you could have before. Yeah, eight got months canceled. ago, eight, nine months ago. You told I mean, me. don't blame me. <laughs> I was going to give it to you too many games. That's well, true. I was going to show up with a huge Charmander that's like four feet tall. Uh, this year, man. Maybe next year. We'll see. Hopefully. We'll see.